What's up everybody? This is Fifi from Kingdom Soul NYC and I'm here with New York artist Paul G. What's up? Gang. I don't see no competition in my face. Oh, yeah. what do you, what do you, yeah. If we do then we just, just said that um, you know your music doesn't stray away from your festival. Tell us a little bit about your festival. Well, okay, so basically I, I grew up watching other people um, lead and do music and try to do their own brand and do music and basically I see them trying to be like what they think they should be like as an artist when they're not grasping the fact that as an artist you're an original brand. So you have to cultivate who you are as a brand based off of what your experiences are like. And in my testimony I've went through so many things, done so many things, seen so many things, so, seen so many people do certain things. Yeah. Um, have people do certain things to me, and that's cultivated my experiences. That's cultivated the way I dress, the way I talk, the way I act, the way I communicate with people. Um, and when I say I don't stray away from my testimony, meaning this, it means I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. I know what I won't, will, and won't do. Um, I know who I serve, God. You know what I'm saying? I know how to have fun. I know not to be too extra. I know how to accept people. Um, not accept the sin, obviously. And when I do certain songs, it's never gonna go against who I am. You never hear me talking about smoking and weed. Or you never hear me talking about like having menages and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You'll never hear me say those kind of things, doing drugs, like, you know what I'm saying? But in the music and the genius God gave me, I found a way to communicate with anybody because of the music. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's how music does. Yeah, yeah, literally. 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 <laughs> Do you yeah. have a favorite song on the, the album? <sighs> Okay, I'm about to sound really stereotypical. Every song is literally my favorite song. But the song I listen to the most, I speak really fast, wow. I said every song on the album is my favorite, but um, to be honest with you, it depends on the day. Like Sometimes I just be wanting to listen to some good, feel good music, and I listen to Moon and Back, or if I want to get hype, I listen to Game. I always wanted to have a trap song on my album, but we made it ours. Like we get the genre, we get the style, we get the influence, and then we curve it to how we yeah. want to approach it. And Game is something that's like, is my favorite song. The album was made to perform every song so that we can do multiple shows and not have to stop after 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the last project I did in three, um, three years ago, I only really performed like three songs. Yeah. 12 songs, I performed like three. The rest of them were just literally bumping in your earphones and nothing really. How would you describe the song though? Is it a bunch of different collective songs, or is it like... Ooh, um, I'm not going to be doing opera. You won't hear me doing <laughs> much of acoustic stuff. You won't hear me doing... Like, it's it's around the hip-hop, R&B, soul, um, you know, pop kind of feel. Okay. Um, you, you'll hear, you know, synths. You'll hear, of course, guitar. You'll hear, you know, 808. You'll hear natural drums. You'll, you know what I'm saying? You'll hear... Uh, the sounds that cultivate who I am, uh, the New York City sound, the L.A. sound, um, the, the tough sound, the emotional sound, the transparent, free sound. That's how the album is going to sound. It's going to sound full, okay. literally. Um, who are you creatively working with? Any features? Uh, uh, you mentioned you with Aaron from AA. Well, yeah, the um, project is me and his collab, but he wants me, well, I, I tried to market it as both of us, but he was like, nah, bro, just take the forefront of it. It's Paul G's album. Da, 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 you know, I'll just be executive producer behind, but me and him are working on everything. So, of course, Double A. Um, I don't know if you know Richie Righteous. Yeah. Uh, so, he's going to be on the album version of Two Bless. Nicholas Ryan Grant, Gant, who did like 12 shows with Mariah Carey, he's going to be on the album. Uh, there's this um, group, they're finding this out now. I tried to call you Max, but you're not listening to me. CM3 is going to be on the album, and if not, just play. Um, but yeah, they're going to be on it. I mean, Eli Groves, another artist who's toured a lot, he's going to be on the album. Um, and there's a lot of other artists that like management team has said are going to be on the album, but I can't really say they're going to be there because I haven't agreed. Yeah. But I would love to just say they're going to be on it. I know how that goes. Uh, but they just, it just haven't been confirmed yet. Okay, no problem. Sucks. Swiss Beats! Gang! I don't see no competition in my face. Oh, yeah. what you, yeah. If we do, then we just move them out the way. I don't even need no money in my face. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Give me the money when I finish with the game. game.